And so I've always loved soccer. And then any application, any chance I can get to get robots to play soccer. I mean, that just sounds like a really, really cool thing to do. I found an article on the internet about Penn beating some other universities at robot soccer. And I found that really, really interesting. Abdullah, the head of the research team, reached out to me to start a management team. And I said, of course. So that's kind of how it got started. I was immediately hooked. And I thought, this, this sounds really cool. Let me, let me, I'm gonna do this. So that's when I joined the team and the rest is history. Integrating all of the different modules that make up robotics from locomotion to things like making sure that I can see different landmarks on the field so that I can know where I am or trying to see if I can see my teammates. Integrating it together, I think, is a very difficult thing to do. A key part of like playing soccer is like knowing where you are on the field and then knowing where the ball is and then knowing where the other side's goal is and getting from point A to point B. So without vision, none of that can work on the robots. What I worked on last summer was mostly dealing with what we call as color segmentation. We split our images between green and white. That involves taking a bunch of images through the robot, going through them and sort of training a probabilistic model to differentiate these two colors and then uploading that model onto the robot so then they can use that to classify the colors they see as either green or white. The behavior research is you're trying to coordinate an entire robot soccer team together. So you have a lot of robots. Some of them, for example, might not be too sure where they are. Other robots might see a ball that turns out to not be a ball. You have all of this uncertainty in the environment that you're in and you're trying to have team behavior that doesn't get disrupted by one robot being completely off task. I'm interested in product management after graduation, which has similar roles that I've been doing as the management team lead so far. So I kind of am the go-between for business and engineering side of things, like skills and lessons that I've learned from the management team. I've already applied in like my internship in the past. Every interview question they ask me, like, when have you worked on a team or solved a problem? I always, I always think of the team first. I've always been really passionate about robotics and that's where I want to work in. I want to work in the field of robotics for my career. For one, I've learned robotics development, the current state of robotics research. Having exposure to that really helpful, not just for going into a career in robotics in general, but also just a career in engineering. Out there when you're working in a team environment, you're not just, you're not the only coder. You're going to have to interact with a lot of people and just being on a large scale project like this where you have different members from different disciplines working on different projects and integrating it all together, I think that's a skill that's really, really, really beneficial. 